How do we find time to declutter? We're busy, life is busy, things come up, and yes, I need to declutter, but I just, I don't have time. Let's talk about that today. Imagine if someone called you up and said, hey, I have a million dollars sitting here, but you're gonna need to come and get it. And I am in a really remote area. You're going to have to drive. It's gonna take you about 12 hours to drive over here, and then you can pick it up and it's completely yours. I don't know anybody that wouldn't set aside the time needed to drive over there and pick up that million dollars just so they could have it. When you embrace minimalism, you get rid of all of the excess clutter, you get time back. And what's more valuable than time? So if we want to declutter, we have to make it a priority. So often when we say, I don't have time to do that, what we're saying is that is not a priority to me. So if you found yourself saying, I don't have time to declutter the house, I don't have time to clean, all you're saying is that's not a priority to me, which is fine. It wasn't a priority for me either, but we have to line up what we want to be our priority with what our actions say is our priority. If caring for yourself and your home is important to you, if you want to create a space that you love, that you can relax in, that you can be present with your family in, then you're going to have to set aside time to do that. Don't worry, it doesn't mean that you have to declutter and clean every single day for the rest of your life. This is just a focused, concentrated time so you can get stuff done, so you can gain more time in the end. Setting aside time to declutter now is going to give you more time in the long run. It pretty much doubles or triples your amount of free time because there's just not stuff requiring things of you. Think about it. How much time have you spent looking for things, looking for the checkbook, looking for a bill, looking for an important piece of paper, looking for your keys, looking for your purse? When your home is simple and everything has a place, you don't have to spend all your time looking for things. You don't have to spend all your time managing things. You don't have to spend time shuffling, moving, cleaning, tidying, because you can get down to only the essentials and they take the minimal amount of time to maintain them. So how do we find that time? First off, put it on your calendar. If it doesn't go on the calendar, we don't normally do it. If we just say vaguely, I'm going to work on this this weekend, it may or may not get worked on. We have to treat it like an important appointment, like a dentist appointment, a doctor appointment, it's something that's important that we really can't miss and we have to devote that time to it. And we have to set aside that time so that it can get done. I know that can be easier said than done sometimes. And I've had people write me an email saying, I just don't have time to declutter. I have 10 kids, I homeschool all of them. We own a homestead, we have 15 cows. I'm in college for my master's degree and I run a business out of my house that the inventory has to be here. Okay, so if that's the case, maybe this is not the time for you to declutter your house. Instead, your focus needs to be on decluttering your schedule. And if you can't, cut anything out of your schedule, then it's okay. This is just a season of life. And maybe just don't spend time watching decluttering videos because then we're just shaming ourselves of like, yep, I should be doing that, but I don't have time for it. And we legitimately don't have time for it. So it's okay, set aside your decluttering dreams and focus on those things that you need to focus on and come back to decluttering later. But if this is something that you've decided you absolutely need minimalism in your life, you need to simplify your home, then if you focus your efforts on that, it's going to be accomplished so much faster. When we have scattered efforts and we work on all kinds of things all over the house, all around us, we're never going to get a lot done. We're going to get little bits done of everything, but we're not going to move forward in the, in the way that we want to. So focus on your daily routines, the morning and evening reset. Wash the dishes, put things away, wipe the counters and stove. That will give you a sense of control over your house where there's things that are done, it's maintained, and you have a little bit of time to devote on decluttering. And then work in focused areas, one room at a time, one drawer, one shelf. Work your way around the room until that room is done. Even if you don't have a lot of time, if you set aside 10, 15 minutes a day, you can get a lot done in that time. I like to set the timer because it keeps me focused. So if I open up my junk drawer and I set my timer for 10 minutes, I know I have 10 minutes to work on this and it doesn't slow me down when I'm making decisions. I want to get as much done as possible in that 10 minutes so I'll work faster. 
It also helps to have an activity planned for the kids, whether it's getting them involved so they're right there with us, counting items and marking it off on our yearly chart, or if it's setting them up with some kind of craft that you know they'll be occupied with for that 10 to 15 minutes, or arranging it with your spouse or friend or somebody that can just occupy them so you know you have this solid one to two hours where you're not gonna be interrupted and you could just work on it. Remember, just like you would treat a doctor appointment, if this is something that's important to you, put it on your calendar, set a reminder on your phone. On Saturday at 10 a.m., I'm going to work for one hour in the office. Or every night at 7 p.m., I'm going to work for 10 minutes in the kitchen. We manage to feed ourselves, to drink our coffee, and to watch whatever shows that are streaming right now. So if you want a calm, organized, clean home, treat it like it's a priority. If you would like to join me in decluttering, I have the Clutter Free Army. Every week, I send out a PDF with six 10-minute missions, an area to focus on, and questions to ask to help you decide what should stay in your home and what should go. I'll put the link to that in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.